hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today we are going to see the complete roadmap of how you can become a data analyst in 2024 okay so uh, here's the roadmap that was posted on linkedin by the panchu taggy okay so i found it very interesting and it covers everything like pretty much what's needed so let us understand like what the data analyst is and why is it important and other things and finally uh, let like wrap up the video like what are the skills important necessary for becoming the data analyst okay so first of all you need to understand if you are planning to become the data analyst you need to understand what is a data analyst so uh, basically a data analyst is a professional who collects cleans and analyzes data to identify trends and patterns so if you are a person who is curious to know like how the patterns are there how you analyze the situation and you get back to some of the intuitions which can help the business growth okay not intuitions the insights okay so uh, like the data is very necessary here so you need to recognize trends and patterns in the in the data okay in the data given so they use their findings to help business make better decisions improve efficiency and identify new opportunities so data analysts typically have strong background in mathematics yeah so maths is very necessary stats is also necessary and a uh, programming okay so there is not much of a programming uh, one language is necessary that is python or r okay so if you have one that's enough so they are also you uh, skilled in data visualization like you will understand what data visualization is okay so either of the tools like power bi or tableau is necessary okay so next is uh, why is data analyst important to a company so they are essential for business uh, that want to make data driven decisions so they can understand their customers so understand the customers in the sense they can analyze customers data to understand their demographics behavior and preferences and this info can be used to develop targeted marketing campaigns and improve customer satisfaction okay and then improve operational efficiency so data analysts can identify areas of the business that can improve their operational efficiency for example uh, they can analyze data on production processes to identify bottlenecks and areas for improvement okay so what are the areas of improvement in the business they can identify those also what are the areas of improvements uh, that are lacking okay they can identify those also and identify new opportunities for example they can analyze sales data to identify new market and production opportunities okay now what is the scope of data analyst so the scope is uh, lying in finance retail healthcare technology okay so it may be in other fields also they have not mentioned everything okay like uh, oil and natural gas with the department etc okay because data is generated in every field okay and if there is a vacancy or there is a need uh, those organization may need the uh, data analyst in that field okay so coming to the skills here uh, what are the primary skills required to become a data analyst so first of all you need to have a strong analytical and problem solving skills uh, like uh, you you can you need to have the idea of how you can solve the complex problems okay and then proficiency in excel so excel is necessary so in excel you can uh, have the basic idea of like condition formatting v lookup h lookup and pivot tables okay so that much is sufficient enough for beginner level but excel is crucial part uh, at advanced level also okay and then comes the sql so sql is a structured query language used to query the data from databases okay so that is necessary because you deal with the database like it can be anything that is ssms or mysql workbench okay and sql is used to query the data then data visualization tools like i said uh, power bi and tableau or there are any other tools also okay uh, depending upon the organization needs uh, the things vary okay and next is communication skills okay so this is also necessary because uh, if a data analyst comes to a conclusion or some insights you need to convey those insights to the stakeholders like in this manner you can increase the sales and other things okay so in that case the communication is necessary okay and coming to the salary expectations uh, you can leave this part because if you have the right skills you can get the higher salary given here okay like you can also get higher than this okay so that's not necessary depending upon the skills and experience you will get definitely get a good salary and uh, okay so here's the why okay so explain the relationship of a data analyst job with the artificial intelligence chatbots and generative ai okay so basically data analyst deals with the data okay and everything that is related to ai ml and chatbots and other things needs the data right 
so basically data analyst uh, plays a very important role like giving the proper and the right data uh, that can help uh, the machine learning models to learn the things that are good for the predictions and that will increase the business growth in the end okay so the base role of data analyst to provide the good data that is structured data quantity qualitative data okay uh, which and not unnecessary data that can lead to like downfall of the business okay so data is crucial part here and that also plays a very important role in the uh, ml chatbots and generative ai okay so that is why there is a relationship of a data analyst with ml okay so coming to the road map here you can start with the python fundamentals okay you can uh, also learn r but i would prefer for you to go with python because uh, there are many roads open for python okay so you can start with data types then operators control structures then uh, functions and modules okay then file handling exception handling etc okay and then after mastering the python for data analysis like after that you can master the python for data analysis basically libraries pandas numpy and matplotlib seaborn etc okay then learn sql like basic sql ddl statements dml statements then joins etc okay uh, sufficient enough then statistical analysis you need to have the idea of like uh, some some part of inferential stats and descriptive stats okay uh, like the concepts of mean median and mode and standard deviation variance etc okay then data cleaning and pre-processing so you need to have the idea how you can clean the data how the outlier detection is there or normalization takes place okay handling the categorical data etc next is the data visualization part that is uh, you can have the knowledge of seaborn plotly and tableau okay practice is very important guys because if you don't practice everything goes in vain okay because uh, till you come to this point you may forget the things that are given at the first level okay so every time you do things or try to practice those and then you can end up at a good place okay also you can learn uh, advanced python libraries like scikit-learn that is used for machine learning okay and git is also important yeah you can also learn git that is if there are doing scripting in python then you may have a need to push and pull the data from a repo that is either in azure devops or uh, git itself okay so for that git is necessary either you can have the hands-on on git itself or github desktop okay also you can connect uh, via vs code but uh, depends on the organization like what they are using okay then advanced data manipulation practices okay so the advanced things like this data manipulation uh, it is necessary at basic level but the advanced level don't try to touch this part unless you are your basic is strong okay then time series analysis this is also important machine learning is also important then big data technologies apache spark etc those are also important okay and database management system if you know sql and uh, one of the tool that manages the database like mysql workbench or ssms sufficient enough okay and then communication skills are also important okay so make your basics strong um, i would prefer you to start with excel then python sql then a visualization tool like a tableau or power bi and then do some projects and build your resume prepare for the interview questions and finally land a job okay so this is the roadmap or like a complete roadmap okay so if you do this this is more than sufficient enough to land any job okay so but you need to have a project and a proper skills so that you can do it okay so here is a visual roadmap you can start with excel and stats and power bed tableau i would prefer you to start with python first and then sql then go to visualization tools and then build a portfolio and resume and finally interview prep okay uh, so uh, one more thing i want to tell that is uh, with respect to the interview preparation don't uh, do the interview preparation at the end once you start the roadmap itself you can start with the interview questions so that when you are doing the hands-on like python and sql and power bi and tableau or excel uh, you will have the idea like what you are working on okay that makes uh, it like a good habit so that you need not prepare at the end okay so once you start learning start applying also even if you don't have the skills mention them in the resume update it uh, while making the projects and start applying from the day one itself okay don't wait for the end moment like you will apply after you complete everything because you might miss the opportunity or the time period from this to the start okay so that is why uh, start the interview preparation from the day one start the projects from the day one and start uh, building your resume resume from the day one 
and start applying from the day one itself okay don't wait for the end okay and here i have also given some playlist here like there is a python playlist sql playlist okay and then some data science that is numpy pandas basics is there tableau basics is also there excel operations also is there okay and interview questions are also there okay so pretty much like 70 percent of the things are covered here uh, in my playlist you can uh, have a look on that and you can start your journey as a data analyst okay so hope you learned something from this video if you are eager to become a data analyst then you can follow this roadmap okay and if you want this link i will put it in the description you can have a look on that okay else you can watch the video okay that's sufficient enough so hope you learned and understood something from this video if you do do hit the subscribe button and until then take care bye, -bye.